Hey guys, Jim here from Clockwork Industries. I got another video for you today. Um, in this one, I'm going to be putting in another window into a NZXT H440 door panel. This one apparently blocks out power supply area of the case, but the client wants a full size window with the trim like seen in my other video and in some other photos on my Instagram where I put in the window install and add trim to the outside so it has a, has a nice contrast on the outside of the case as well as a full making the window full size i got my piece of acrylic over here basically i got a new tool over here from eastwood it's an electric shear or well, they call it electric nibbler actually or it is an electric nibbler and they call it electric shear one of the two either way all you need to do is get a hole about I think a quarter inch hole is enough to start it or three eighths maybe. This thing t opens it up like a can opener. I mean, it is amazing. I tried on a piece of uh, scrap metal and it just right through it. Barely any pressure, any force, it just eats right through it. No more Dremel, no more sitting there burning through six Dremel discs just to go down one side of the door panel. So this is really gonna make my life a lot easier when making these door panels, so. The uh, first step in this one here is going to be marking out the inside. So I'm going to work from the inside of the, of, uh, the door panel here. Peel off this foam, uh, bend up the tabs, pull out the window. Then once I have the markings laid out, I'll go ahead, use the shear, cut out the window, go over to Fusion 360, draw up my new window. Uh, this will be cut out on the CNC machine because I need to, like you saw in the other video, I need to make a uh, pocket around the outside of the window so when I seat it into here, it'll sit flush with, uh, with this side of the uh, door panel. Then I'll head over to the laser cutter, uh, cut out my trim pieces, and I will glue the trim to the window panel, sandwiching the metal in between the trim and the window. That way, the window is essentially locked into place with the trim. It's a nice, clean, professional look on the window install. I like it a lot more. The old method of rubber U-channel and the 3M mod tape. I mean, that's not a bad method if, you know, depending on what, you, what tools you have at hand, basically. If you have a router table at hand, you can make this window install. You don't need a CNC. You can definitely do it on a regular router table. I just like the look of it. It's a lot, uh, I just think it looks really clean. First thing I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, get the window marked out, cut it out, move on from there. Okay, so the shear on this panel did not work out as planned. Well, it did in some locations, it didn't in others. This door panel has a window, the way it's installed is a brake press bent the edges around the window frame to increase the strength. They do that a lot in sheet metal work, that's why there's a lot of these bends in here. It adds rigidity when you're working with 30,000 thick uh, metal panels. Um, since they're not plate material, they're not rigid, you make bends and increase the strength. Well, there was no ideal straight cut on this, and there also was no nice way to come in at it due to the edge on here, or the uh, the die. 
So what I think I might do, since nothing I'm cutting is like super crazy rigid, I might grind this die down so I can scoop into a panel, like a, a pre-drilled hole, a little bit easier. Overall, this thing flies through it. Like, and the first cut that I took, it just it just coasted right through the metal. So it's a huge plus there. The rest of it from now on will be done with the jigsaw wherever I can't get to it with this. I have another case coming for a different client. I'm doing a custom reservoir or dual custom reservoirs for the top of a thermal take case. I just got the top panel in today. That one's gonna be perfect for this. The whole panel's flat, a couple holes, this thing's gonna coast right through it. I'll get it done in a couple minutes. Something like this where you got a bunch of dips and recesses and lips, it's really hard to get this in where you need it to be. And I didn't wanna risk going at it from this side and screwing up the finish, even though the trim would cover it up. So maybe that's what I'm gonna do next time is on something like this, I'm just gonna mark it out from the top and go around the top and then let the trim cover up the, uh, the markings. Um, right now, you see it's just there's some black spots. It's just dirty from dirt. I've used some cutting fluid. I did it off camera because I just needed to get it done quick. I got to get this shipped out today. So I'm trying to make a video and everything I just for the sake of time. So right now, I got my, uh, I just picked this up at Production Tool Supply, the burring tool. Essential for doing these panels. These nasty burrs on the edge. This one's really nice. It's called a uh, Shaviv by Vargas, but it's got a nice handle. I think they make other attachments for it too, for like doing countersink, deburring, and stuff like that. But it's nice to just get those uh, nasty, rigid, uh, sharp edges off of there. And this one really works really well. I think it was like six bucks at the stores. All right, so now the panel's all cleaned up. What I'm doing is just getting the measurements for the hole. We're looking at four, uh, 390 by 370. So this will be the actual measurement plus three eighths of an inch on each side. So I'll add, nine, I'll add a total of 18 millimeters and that will give me the lip that will go around the inside. So I'll have a pocket around the edge that big because there's some, uh, some scratches from the grinding wheel from cleaning it up so I want to use the acrylic machined edge to cover that up. And then on this side, the way the lip, the, the hanger is inside the latch onto the door, I'm gonna make one inch trim and I'm gonna offset the trim when I glue it on. So the trim will be centered on the outside of the door panel, but it'll actually be shifted on the window. But you won't see that because the trim will actually make everything look centered and even out the whole, the whole window install. So. Right now I'm gonna head over to Fusion, get this whole thing modeled up, and then head over to CNC. So that's gonna wrap up the video on the NZXT Pro Model window install for the H440 chassis. Uh, I think it came out really well. I had a little issue. I was holding the trim down using the acrylic cement. This is a little bit stronger than Weld On, I think. You don't have a lot of room for air and you don't have a lot of time to wipe it off. Pretty much no time at all. Sometimes with Weld On you can get it, wipe it off real quick. A lot of times it's best to just let it sit. 
but I was holding the trim down in the corner pocket and it seeped up into my thumb and left a thumbprint in the plastic. So what I did last minute was added some pretty sweet, actually it accents it really well. I added these corner brackets. Overall, it came out really sweet and I like the new trim method. Before I was doing straight cuts on the trim, now uh, I've been modeling the whole window panel, including the cutout, the window, and the trim and using the laser to make mitered window trim so they butt up in all four corners uh, to like a nice a nice 90 degree angle uh, with the 245s where they butt up here. And these little corner caps, I think, uh, were a nice touch at the end. So that wraps this video up here. If you guys want some work done like this, go to my website, clockworkindustries.com, use the contact form and hit me up. We'll see what we can do for you. I can work from a hand, <coughs> excuse me, hand-drawn sketch. It's easiest if you send me a model from Fusion 360. That's, uh, that's gonna simplify everything. But uh, if you have a sketch, I could take the sketch, turn it into a model. It'll cost a little bit less if you have the model, but either way, it's, it's not that critical. But yeah, anything from window installs, power supply shrouds, custom graphics, card back plates, full case mods like the last one I just did, motherboard trays, solid state mounts, custom door panels, anything, anything and everything. So if you guys need some work done, head over to clockworkindustries.com, use the contact form and hit me up. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.